What's up everybody, Colin here with CH Sports, bringing you guys another episode of It's In The Chains. Today we're out here at the beautiful Hornings Hideout to prepare for hacking at, hack, hacking, what's the name of the event again? Hacking Through Hornings. It's an Oregon series event and it's a B tier, correct? Okay, and uh, we're gonna get warmed up on Highlands, so show you guys some ace runs real quick and then we'll hop over to the course that we're playing for the tournament. That is the Hunter Gates. Some people know him from Cole Rodolin's Instagram or from his appearance on CH Sports at this very course. My almost ace. Hey, you're almost ace. You're almost, almost ace. throw in a couple of times, I feel like. one at Highlands right there in front of you let's get it what are we throwing Good ringer. Ringer. okay right out of the car ace let's get it What's going on everybody? I'm checking in with you guys right before round one of hacking through hornings. Uh, once again, the game's feeling pretty good. This is, you know, a few tournaments in a row now that I feel like going into the tournament, I've done everything preparation wise that I can 
pre to the tournament starting to make sure that I'm prepared for the tournament. And, uh, you know, at this point, it really is just about going out and executing the game plan. And, uh, you know, I've kind of rushed myself into overthinking things over the last few tournaments. And I think this tournament, I'm trying a new kind of mindset. Instead of making my goals so result-based and so score-based, I'm going to start making my goals something more like every single shot today that I throw, I'm going to make sure I throw it confidently and I'm going to breathe on every single shot. Those are th that's something that I can control and something that I can manage going into this round. And, you know, that's something that, like, that's a realistic goal. That's something you should do on every single throw anyway. And so, like, if I hold that, hold myself to that standard, I feel like that will take me to some of the result-based goals that I want to get to. So we'll see how this round goes. Once again, it is absolutely just pouring down rain. <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of playing these tournament rounds in the rain, so... Uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys after round one. Alrighty, we are back at the apartment after round one of hacking through hornings. Um, it's, man, this is one of those rounds that it's really kind of tough to put my thoughts into words just because, um, it's a round that I started off so well. Uh, for, for people that don't know, hornings, uh, meadow, long is probably the hardest course in the state of Oregon. And so the course that we're playing this weekend is, you know, incredibly, let's, let's check out what scores were even for round one, almost just over a thousand rated round. So that kind of gives you some perspective of uh, how difficult this course actually is. Um, and so I shot plus three the first round, um, which, you know, overall, I'm happy with because it's a 978 rated round, which is above my rating at the moment. But um, I just made I made so many silly mistakes and got off to the best start I think I've ever gotten to on this course. I was two down through four, and from that point, I just like I had a couple little like weird breaks that I let get into my head. Which really, if you've ever played this course, you know that like you're you're just gonna get some weird breaks out there so i need to do a better job of letting some of those breaks go and uh getting after that back nine i, I don't know what it is about this course but a lot of people shred the back nine and kind of survive on the front nine for me it's the opposite i'm able to get off to a hot start on this course and for some reason i just cannot finish and uh yeah so Hopefully tomorrow I get off to that same hot start and then just figure out a way to finish. Uh, right now the lead is sitting at three down. Mr. Emmett Keeson is off to a good start. And uh, Justin Anderson, I believe, is also at three down. So, uh, yeah, I'm trailing them by six. Not completely out of it. It's actually doable on this course for, for that many strokes to be made up in one round. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep my head down and try and stick to the game plan. See you guys after round two. All right, everybody, let's wrap up Hacking Through Hornings 2023. Uh, shout out to Zach Todd and staff for running this event. Uh, also shout out to Frankie at Top Flight for helping run this event. Um, as far as everything on their side of things and how everything was ran, everything ran smoothly and uh, no issues with any of that so I, I can't blame my uh bad performance on them um so i just wanted to make it very clear they ran a great event shout out to them uh so with that let's go ahead and get into my performance a little bit uh you know i ended up shooting 10 over the second round and just to give you guys some context that was a nine i believe it was in the 920s rating wise so uh, definitely not the worst round I've ever shot, but definitely not anywhere near what I would like to be shooting. Um, but it was another round that I, I really didn't feel all that disappointed in any of the shots that I threw. Um, if you've ever played this course, you guys kind of know that, uh, that's just kind of how this course plays. Like you throw a lot of shots that feel really good out of your hand. Um, and you wouldn't really change too much about how you threw them, but then they result in just like really bad lies, like even sometimes in the middle of the fairway. 
Um, but you know, that goes into myself as a professional going out and preparing for the course better. Like just knowing that, you know, if I get to this landing zone, that's another 30 feet down the fairway. That is so much better of a landing zone than being fairway central, but landing 30 feet shorter than where you're trying to land. So, um, yeah, I, really this year to me is just about learning how to be professional, how to prepare for events so that. That way, over the next five to 10 years, I can kind of slowly turn into, you know, hopefully a touring professional. So um, stick with me, guys. I am struggling out there on the course right now, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of kid that gives up. You know, I'm going to keep fighting. And, you know, I, I even got props for that this weekend that with no matter how bad I struggled, I had a couple of my card mates say something about how I just kept fighting, kept fighting on every single throw. And, um, you know, I'm not overall happy with my performance from this weekend, but ultimately it's a performance that I got to live with and I got to learn from. So uh, thanks for tuning in to episode two of It's In The Chains and uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Hey guys, Colin here with CH Sports. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my coverage sponsors. These videos would not be able to come to life without these people's help, so I really appreciate it. There's plans starting as low as $3 a month and every single dollar helps grow the channel. If you would like to see your name or business listed in the credits of every single one of my videos, please head over to patreon.com slash chsports.